Hello and welcome to another episode of New You City Chat. I'm Danielle Mercurio and I'm reporting live from the Danger Zone, aka my bedroom. Let's talk about the ways that you can boost your confidence for a more satisfying and better sex life. Now, you know that you love sex, but what you don't love is the stage fright or the performance anxiety that goes with it. Now, that's wholly natural, but there are ways to offset it. Uh, the first thing that you can do, get naked. Now, I know what you're thinking. Um, don't I have to be naked to have sex? Yes, that's true. And I find it interesting that we may not be comfortable with our own bodies, and yet we're willing to get naked in front of another person. So I say let's take it back a few steps and really start to get comfortable with who we are. So let's say the next time you're in the flesh, maybe you're getting out of the shower, take a look in the mirror and give yourself a really big smile and be like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now, if that's a little bit too much for you at first, maybe just start with a smile, or maybe do it in the towel and see how that feels. You'll find that over time, once you start to accept and love your body more, you're gonna take a lot of the insecurities out of the bedroom and make for a more magnetizing sexual experience. And the next thing that you can do is start to get really excited. When you know that you have an upcoming sexual encounter, whether it be with someone that you've been in a relationship with a really long time, or someone new, or maybe someone you met five minutes ago at the bar, it doesn't really matter. The thing is, is that you should take away some of that nervous energy by replacing it with excitement and passion, and just that whole idea of being excited that you get to do this. So maybe ahead of time you can send your partner a text telling them what you want to do to them later. Or maybe at dinner, you know, mention to your partner what you can't wait for them to do to you. Or maybe distance is an issue and so you're not able to be with that other person enough to really start to feel comfortable and build your confidence with them. Another way you could do it is through something like FaceTime. Now that might seem a little bit weird or scary at first, but once you move past that initial barrier, you'll find that it's a really great way to take your relationship to another level. And it's something Thing that can be really enjoyable for you both and you'll find that when you're both together actually in person you're really going to feel that magnetism and that attraction and really make for a fun experience. Um, the next thing that I want you to do is say what you want. A lot of times we give the other person in bed all the power or we think that they're a mind reader and we forget that actually sex is a team effort. It takes two and so you have to express what it is that you want. And the great thing is, is not only will you benefit from getting something that feels really good, your partner's gonna feel really great and more confident too because they know that they're giving you um, exactly what it is that you need. And from there, I want you to remember too that sex isn't always gonna be perfect. You know, it's gonna be messy sometimes or there's gonna be weird noises or someone loses their balance. So to that, I just say laugh it off and just roll with it. And you know, you can't expect um, every time to be this perfect magical thing and um, there's no need to freak out. Just, just roll with it, have fun. And then another thing to remember is why. Why are you having sex with this person and who are they to you? So if you notice for some reason that there are negative emotions attached to the sexual experience, you need to think about it. If there's despair or envy or loneliness, if you're having sex with someone to try to win them back or make them love you more, really think about what you're doing and if that's the kind of person you want to engage in and the kind of activity that you want to bring into your life. The thing about sex is, is that you should be on the same page with that other person. It should be a mutual consensual uh, interaction and it can be something where you both are just looking to have a good time or express your love for each other maybe you're both uh, ready to create a new life or maybe you're just both into freaky things and you want to experiment together it doesn't matter as long as you both are on the same level so go out there have fun be safe and just use all the tools that I taught you you know get more comfortable with your body get really excited when you're gonna have sex um, another thing to do is get vocal, roll with the punches, and remember why you're doing this. So I'd love to hear from you. Tell me the ways that uh, you're the rock star in bed. Leave a comment below and let me know any of your hot tips or suggestions. And until next time, go out there and have some real saucy fun.